Hi everybody, it's Lauren from Plan Small. I am um, going to share this folio with you today. It's a little bit different than my normal stuff. You can see that it's way bigger than my hand, so it's... Um, uh, yeah, I'm just excited because I have always been a fan of junk journaling and I've never done it before, so hopefully... This is the beginning of a new craft for me. Um, I'm, I kind of have dabbled a couple of times, um, but I'm really interested in finding a way to make this work in my life because it brings me joy. Um, all right, so most of these printables are from a shop called My Porch Prints, and I'll link all of the ones that I've used below. Some of these, um, like this Alice image, are things that I have found and edited myself. Um, if you find this vintage image, it needs to be cleaned up a little bit to be able to see her face. So um, if you're interested in some of the things that you don't see linked, then let me know. Um, the hardware pieces for this are all a part of uh, the hardware kit. Um, so this folio is she has um several she has three um one is pink damask um it could have worked for this i chose not to use it because it was very brightly pink one is a neutral folio that i think i'll get a lot of um, miles out of and then another one is a print your own folio um so i i chose to use the neutral one because i think i'm going to be able to use it um, to print my own, um, images, but, uh, I don't know, your mileage may vary, so I'm going to link the neutral folio, but know that there are other options for the same size. This is a paper clip, this is a paper clip, um, the images are from the Alice in Wonderland, um, kit. There is a, um, tiny, tiny, tiny Cheshire cat inside the keyhole. He is from the Alice in Wonderland MIDI kit. Um, and so are the words. So they're from, all of these are from my porch prints. Alice is the only thing that I brought in um, from the outside. So this is my closure for this folio. Um, so this is Alice Little. She is um, rumored to be the inspiration for the Alice in Wonderland um, it's kind of a cute story if you want to read about it. Um, Lewis Carroll met her and her sisters and just uh, told them a story while they were hanging out one day. So really this should go this way, but I wanted to hide um, this when it was in the pocket. So, And these are just ephemera pieces from the kit. There's a really pretty... Um, I hated to cover this. I should have put it over here. Um, teapot. That teapot's um, as a, is a cutout, and it's also in this preamble. All right. So this is from a neutral journal kit. Um, the pockets are not exactly the same size. So the journal pockets are slightly smaller than the pockets needed for this folio. I'll put you back on there just because when I turn the page, you're supposed to be there. All right, so these are also a part of the hardware kit. They're um, photo corners, and they work great. I just glued them down. Um, this image is a part of the big journal kit. Um, this is I printed this at half size because I wanted a little envelope. Um, but it's typically larger than that. And this has got little, um, this has got little uh, doodads in it. You can see metal pieces as a gift. Okay. Got her kind of hanging on here. All right, and inside here is another pocket. And these are the tabs from her tab kit. And I just stacked them up in there. They're in one of those slotted dies. There are some cut files for the slotted die in her shop. 
And these, aren't they pretty? Oh, this goes back in here. All right, so this is it fully open. This is a part of the teacup set that she did. Um, or that is available at my porch prints. These are a part of the journal kit. These are actually the size that these printed. This was a tag also, but I had to cut it down. Um, so we'll start over here. I added little ephemera from the kit in this. They have the little signposts, which I think is so cute. Go back, wrong way. And then, you know, eat, eat me, drink me signs and mushrooms, the whole deal. So that's really cute. And then here's another little tuck spot with the white rabbit. And I, in here, I put um, some hardware pieces and some, I brought, I got this thimble. The thimble is the only thing that's um, something that I've found. And then I just printed the keys on some decorative paper from the Alice in Wonderland line and um, fussy cut those. And there are a couple little hardware pieces in there too. Yikes, get back in there, friends. Okay. And then these are all fussy cuts. I'm going to take them all out so you can see the teacups. But um, these are all fussy cuts from the teacup kit. Let's see if I can put them up here. That's that same um, same printable that was in the other, in the bigger size in the journal kit. This is cute. It says we're all mad here. And then this is a free... Part of that free tag it was uh their long tea tags i think or tall tea tags in her a freebie in um, the facebook group and then of course alice in wonderland they're so fun i didn't ink these just because i had spent too much time on this already because it's just supposed to be a little exchange um this is my probably my favorite printable in the whole kit all right and i put a little um it looks like a spoon when it's in there, but it's really a knife because it's flat um, in the cups. And then, so I had just done the cup set. Her tutorial for these has them stacked up and it's really cute. But these, I just put them inside of each other and they ended up really cute. All right. Throw these back in here just to save myself a minute. I don't remember where all these were, hilariously. I think Alice was right here. So this was all one piece of lace, and I cut it apart, and it made cute little steam. I got it on clearance at Hobby Lobby, I think. Alice in Wonderland. And then tea time was, I think, in here. And there's all, so all of these teacups have a teacup open spot and a little pocket in the front. So there's, the teacup is open and the pocket, and that's open. And then even this one, the teacup is open, but I didn't put anything in there. just time was showing okay so these are just printed on um like heavy they're not heavy cardstock they're like 65 pound cardstock and most of this is printed on um the same so here is that tag again and that printable is from the saying is from um the mini kit i think and I just really, I don't know, I really like it. Okay, and so this is the folio. So y'all, this was supposed to be um, fit in an envelope, Happy Mail, but I got really frustrated because the, um, the journal printables were not fitting easily in a envelope-sized folio 
so I just made it huge. So this, um, I'll empty this one-offs. This is the um, pretty little envelope that comes with the thing. And I wrote a little note about these. This is Alice Little and her sisters. And this is a picture of Lewis Carroll, which is really fun to cut this out and use it. And there's another Lewis Carroll. Okay. And then this is a part of the journal kit. And these are the pages that are like an individual kit pages and covers um, and they're so pretty and I think really reasonably priced so these are from there's a bunch of these in the main journal kit I just left the one in here all right so these are so the photographs are the photographs and these pieces are from my um, for my wanderings around the internet. So I wanted this contents page as I was making my journal, and I love it. And then this photo, I don't think is in the journal kit anywhere, but it's got Alice asleep, and I just think that's cute. All right. And so these are just pages from an actual Alice in Wonderland book that I found on in a thrift shop that has a nice like age to it and these um so this for the neutral kit they say you can print on the back of these pieces so i printed um piece i printed pictures from the journal kit um so all of these flat this floral is from the journal kit and then these um these lines are from the journal kit and i had to print them two different ways so I think I had to print these pieces sideways with the sideways um, lines and then these with the vertical so that it would all be facing the same direction because I'm neurotic and that was a requirement for me. All right, so that is my little gift and I hope you liked it. Let me know if you have any questions. I will link below to the printables that I used. Uh, I hope you all have been well. Hopefully I'll have some printables and cut files for small planners available soon. I've got a lot going on right now. I'm going to have surgery soon, so I'm a little bit um, stressed out, which is why I did journaling instead of planning, because I just didn't want to think about planning. All right, well, see you next time. Thanks for watching, you all. Like and subscribe if you want to see more like this. See ya.